What if I told you that Apple just made a move that could revolutionize the world of computing? Forget about fancy peripherals or futuristic cars because they've just unveiled something truly groundbreaking, the M4 chip. Now you might be wondering, what's all the hype about? Let's break it down. The M4 chip is not just your ordinary silicon slab, it's a powerhouse, boasting jaw-dropping specs that have sent shockwaves through the PC market. Imagine a CPU that's a whopping 50% faster than its predecessor, the M2. Yep, you heard that right, and that's not all. It comes packed with built-in ray tracing technology, taking your visual experience to a whole new level. But wait, there's more. The neural engine packed inside this beast can handle a mind-boggling 38 trillion operations per second. Apple's M4 processors are making waves, especially in Geekbench scores. Recently, they've been hitting around 3,800 points in the single-core leaderboard. This is a big deal because it puts them way ahead of Intel's flagship Core Y9-14900KS. In fact, the M4 outpaces it by about 16% in single-threaded tests. These processors are part of some updated iPad Pro designs, boasting a 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and a 16-core neural engine with 38 tops. They're built on a second-generation 3 nanometers process, offering cool features like dynamic caching, ray tracing, and AV1 hardware acceleration. When it comes to CPU performance, Apple's tests show the M4 surpasses the M2 by 50%, and compared to a specific Asus ZenBook, M4-powered devices can deliver similar performance using just a quarter of the power. That's like having a supercomputer in the palm of your hand. Now, here's the thing. Apple didn't just drop this bombshell at any old event. They strategically chose to unveil the M4 at their iPad event, rather than saving it for their worldwide developer conference. Sneaky, right? But why? Well, we're currently in the midst of an arms race, a global showdown to create the ultimate ARM-based chip and dominate the tech world. And guess what? Apple's got a head start. But here's the plot twist. Their lead might not last for long. So what exactly is ARM, you ask? Let's break it down. Back in the day, personal computers ran on CPUs with the x86 architecture built by tech giants like Intel and AMD. These x86 chips were the workhorses of the computing world, powering everything from high-performance gaming rigs to everyday office computers. They were known for their versatility and speed, making them the go-to choice for decades. But then, something revolutionary happened. The rise of smartphones. Unlike PCs, Smartphones needed processors that were super efficient with power because nobody wants their phone battery dying halfway through the day. This is where ARM processors came into play. ARM, which stands for Advanced RISC Machines, uses a Reduced Instruction Set Computing RISC architecture. This means ARM chips can do more with less power, making them perfect for mobile devices. ARM processors stand out because they use a smaller set of instructions needing fewer transistors compared to other processors. This makes the circuitry inside them smaller. That's why ARM processors fit well in tiny devices because they're simpler and use less power. They're great for the trend of making things smaller in tech. As gadgets get tinier and easier to carry around, ARM processors are a smart choice. They help gadgets run smoothly without using too much power. Smartphones adopting ARM processors was a game changer. These processors were designed to handle the essentials while sipping power, ensuring that your phone could last longer on a single charge. ARM chips quickly became the brains behind smartphones, tablets, and other battery-powered devices. As tasks get bigger and more complicated, they need more energy to process. This also means more effort is needed to keep the hardware cool and running safely. This isn't just about saving money. It's also important for companies aiming to create more eco-friendly data centers. Using too much energy isn't good for the planet, so finding ways to handle these heavy tasks efficiently is a big deal. By managing energy better, organizations can reduce costs and help the environment moving towards a greener future for data processing. But here's the thing. For the longest time, there was this lingering doubt that ARM processors just weren't cut out for regular computers. They were like the underdogs of the tech world, underestimated and overlooked. That is until Apple came along and flipped the script. In 2020, Apple dropped a bombshell on the industry with the release of the M1 chip. Suddenly, their laptops were faster, quieter, and cooler than ever before. 
With the M1, everyone was ready to say goodbye to overheating nightmares and hello to silky smooth performance. And you better believe Microsoft was paying attention. Seeing the writing on the wall, Microsoft launched Project Volterra, their own initiative to bring Windows to ARM chips. It was like a tech revolution in the making. With Apple leading the charge, others quickly followed suit, realizing the untapped potential of ARM processors for traditional computing tasks. But the real magic happened when these ARM chips hit the data centers. Companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft saw the writing on the wall and started cooking up their own ARM-based solutions. Suddenly, the cloud was powered by ARM, revolutionizing the way we think about computing infrastructure. Fast forward to today and ARM is no longer the underdog. It's the undisputed heavyweight champion of the tech world. From smartphones to laptops to data centers, ARM chips are everywhere you look, driving innovation and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And the best part, we're just getting started. With companies like Qualcomm and Intel entering the fray, the future of computing has never looked brighter. Now let's talk about the big players in the cloud game. AWS, Amazon's cloud computing arm, has had an epiphany. ARM chips are the way forward. And guess what? They're not alone in this revelation. Amazon, Google, and Microsoft have all jumped on the ARM bandwagon, crafting their own chips tailored specifically for their data centers. Take AWS Graviton and Google Axion, for example. These are not just fancy names. They're the driving force behind the next generation of cloud computing. But here's the plot twist. The company behind this ARM architecture isn't your typical tech giant. Nope. They're worth over $100 billion, yet they've never actually produced a single chip. Instead, they're the masterminds behind the scenes designing the architecture that powers these chips. Think of them as the puppet masters pulling the strings from behind the curtain. And who's reaping the benefits of this technological wizardry? None other than Apple. Their M4 chip is the epitome of power and efficiency, boasting the most powerful neural engine ever seen in a chip. But here's where things get interesting. While Apple may have been silent in the AI race, they've been quietly laying the groundwork for something big. Their goal, to run large language models on device or on the edge. Imagine having the power of AI at your fingertips, no internet connection required, your AI assistant could work offline with lightning fast response times, and most importantly, keep all your sensitive data safe and sound on device. It's like having your own personal AI guardian watching over you. But here's the catch, Apple's lead in the AI race may soon be challenged. In just a few short weeks, Qualcomm is set to unleash the Snapdragon X Elite chip, a powerhouse of computing prowess. This bad boy could outperform the M4, claiming to handle a staggering 45 trillion operations per second. Talk about setting the bar high. Now here's where things get a little murky. Qualcomm's claims may sound on paper, but are they playing fair? Some skeptics have raised eyebrows at their benchmarking methods, suggesting they might be bending the rules to make their chip look better than it really is. You see, in the world of tech, numbers don't lie. And right now, the numbers that matter most are the ones related to AI performance. Why? Because in the not-so-distant future, the device that can run the slickest, most sophisticated AI models natively is the device that's going to fly off the shelves. And who's feeling the heat the most? You guessed it, Apple. They've built their empire on selling top-of-the-line hardware and nothing would sting more than seeing Microsoft swoop in and steal the AI spotlight. Trust me, you don't want to see Tim Cook's reaction if that ever happened. Imagine a sea of shattered MacBook screens as he watches in horror from his Cupertino headquarters. That won't be nice, but let's take a step back and talk about x86, the old guard of computing. Now, some people out there are waving the x86 is dead banner and they might have a point. After all, this technology has been around for over four decades, practically ancient in tech terms. But here's the thing, x86 isn't going down without a fight. Just the other day, leaked documents sent shockwaves through the industry, revealing Intel's latest creation, the Arrow Lake processor. This bad boy is a game changer, boasting power efficiency like never before and potentially capable of handling a mind-blowing 100 trillion operations per second. And let's not forget about AMD, the dark horse in this race. They're cooking up something special with the Ryzen AI 9, 
a chip that's poised to shake up the status quo. It's like watching a high stakes poker game with each player trying to outdo the other with their ace up their sleeve. But here's where things get really interesting. It's not just about the specs anymore. Nope, it's all about the branding. You see, the company that can crank up the AI cringe level on their marketing materials is the one that's gonna capture the hearts and minds of consumers. It's like a battle of the memes, with each company trying to out-meme the other to claim the AI throne. And speaking of thrones, rumor has it that Apple is gearing up for a grand unveiling at next month's WWDC. Brace yourselves, because the MacBook Singularity Blaster Turbo Pro Max is about to make its debut. Can you feel the excitement in the air? So, there you have it. The tech world is ablaze with competition, and the race for AI supremacy has never been more intense. Who will come out on top? Only time will tell. Until then, stay tuned for the latest updates. Because this is one roller coaster ride you won't want to miss. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video. And if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check other videos on our playlist. We've got some amazing contents for you. See you in our next video.